This short video will describe uh, the protocol for the YMCA bike test. And the YMCA bike test is a graded exercise test, meaning that it starts easy and every three or four minutes will get more difficult and get harder. This next picture are the different stages for the YMCA bike test. And I'll try to explain these different stages. So we'll start on the top where it says the first workload. The first workload for everybody, the resistance setting, so the silver pendulum on the side of these Monarch bikes, you will adjust that so that it's reading 0.5 kg or 0.5 kp. To do the calculation for a workload, you'll take that 0.5 kp times a pedaling cadence of 50 RPMs times a wheel diameter circumference of 6 meters to get this workload of 150. So it's the resistance setting times RPMs times 6 meters to get the actual workload. So everyone will pedal at 50 RPMs and everyone will have an initial resistance setting of 0.5 kilograms on the Monarch bike. You will take heart rate measurements at minute three, at minute two and minute three. If these two heart rates are at steady state, so if they are um, within five beats per minute of each other, then after minute three, you can go up to the next stage. If they're not within, if they're not steady state, so if the heart rates are still going up, you would continue to a fourth minute of this stage. So each stage of the YMCA bike test is three or four minutes until a steady state heart rate is achieved. So um, after the first stage, which is either three or four minutes, you'll then progress to the second workload or second stage. And you have some choices to make. And these are dependent on the steady state heart rate at the end of the first stage. So let's follow, oops, let's follow the column on the far left. Here, if someone's steady, start, steady state heart rate at the end of stage one is really low, so it's less than 80 beats per minute, they're probably pretty aerobically fit. So what we will do then is increase the resistance a lot. So they'll go from half a kilogram of resistance all the way up to two and a half kilograms of resistance. So you would follow this set then of columns, or this first column, if their steady state heart rate after stage one is less than 80. And then there's um, a column of 80 to 89, a column of 90 to 100, and a column of greater than 100. If someone's heart rate following this first easy stage is pretty high, it's greater than the 100, they're probably relatively aerobically unfit we're only going to increase it from 0.5 to 1. And then you would continue down this column. So the choice you have to make is at the end of the first stage. And that's going to be based on these different heart rate responses to that first stage. Then once you figure that out, you'll always go down these columns. Uh, and each stage then is just going up by half a kilogram of resistance. So 2.5, up to 3, up to 3.5. Or 1, up to 1.5, up to 2. So this table describes the, um, uh, describe the sequence for the protocol of this YMCA bike test. And again, to determine this workload or work rate of like, for example, 150, that is equal to 50 RPMs. So everyone is pedaling at 50 RPMs times the resistance setting times six meters per revolution. So that would give us a work rate of um, kilogram meters per minute. And that's where those top numbers come from. We're going to, um, uh, we'll do this YMCA bike test 
up to the third or fourth stage. And so we're going to end this stage, uh, sorry, we're going to end the bike test when there are two successive stages, so one after the other, where the steady state heart rates are um, greater than 110 and less than 85% of age predicted max heart rate. So this is not a max test, we're going to go to submax. So we're going to stop this bike test when we get two successive stages where the first stage, the heart rates are greater than 110, and then the next one is going to be less than 85% of age predicted max. So it sort of depends. I mean, typically we do one stage, a second stage, a third, and typically we may end at the third stage. But you could have, I mean, this heart rate maybe is greater than 110 if they're really unfit then this heart rate would be great, would be less than 85% of age predicted max, and so they'd be done. They'd be done just after two stages. So um, we will end this YMCA bike test when there are two successive stages. So for example, this stage and this stage, where the first stage is greater than 110, and the next stage is less than 85% of age predicted max. So this has been just a short description of the YMCA bike test uh, with the protocol um, for each stage, how long is each stage, and then how long is the total bike test.